Okay, guys, we have got upper body day in the garage today, in the home gym. Let's get warmed up a little bit on the bike, get the heart rate going. Oh, yeah, there we go. There we go, okay. So, why are we in the home gym? No reason, other than not really feeling getting into the gym today. I'm training on my own. And I want to film and sometimes, just sometimes it can be a little trickier filming whilst on your own. So I thought I'll get a good session in, get a lot of value in this session too. Because with it being a home gym session, not everyone has access to a crazy amount of uh, bodybuilding specific kit like you'll see me using in the gym. When I'm using all like the Gym Leco, the Prime, the Atlantis, the Panatta. Not everyone has access to that. So, what do I have access to the, in the, my own gym? Barbells, rig setup, which you'll see. Dumbbells up to 47 and a half. You know, basic shit that you'll, uh, that you'll find people using in the gym. So, yeah, I'm gonna show you exactly how I train up a body if I don't have access to machinery, like today. How do I utilize barbells? How do I utilize maybe like a pull-up bar? How do I utilize the dumbbells? All that good stuff. And that way, hopefully, you can take something from it, benefit from it, and you know, utilize it yourself. So what I'm planning on doing today is I'm actually planning on doing a bit of barbell bench press. If you've been following me for a while, if you know me, you know that I <laughs> I used to love the bench press coming from powerlifting background. My used to bench was my best, 182.5 kilos, which is like 400 pounds. But um, just encountered too many injuries. I had a minor pec tear in my left pec, benching 167. And then, <coughs> excuse me. After that, just years of tendonitis in both biceps that was heavily caused from the bench. But I'm willing to give it a go today. I don't think it'll be bad after not doing it for months. I don't really have any signs of tendonitis at the moment, so I might hit one all out set just to get it in and not cause them issues, get a good chest pump. I might do shit tons of light work. I don't know. I'll see. So start with some bench, and then we'll probably look at hitting incline barbell bench or incline dumbbell bench after that we'll do fucking loads of lateral raises i'm not going to do any shoulder pressing I'm not interested in shoulder pressing today i want to focus on that that lateral head of the delt so two variations of side laterals and that'll probably just be standing and seated slightly different emphasis and tension um, we'll hit different rep schemes within that one of them will do straight sets the other one will do rep matches which i'll show you um we'll hit some back for back i might do something chest supported just because i've got the legs tomorrow so i don't necessarily want that hinge and that position work in the lower back because i'm going to get lower back work tomorrow training legs and then we'll hit some arms curls maybe like skull crushes things like that so yeah we'll see how we get on should be a good one interested i'm on my own so there's no spot <laughs> Um, so benching could be tasty with that, but we'll see how we get on. So I'm just going to finish off another minute on here, five minute warm up, and we'll uh, we'll get into the video. So let's do it. So it's really interesting when you are uh, are really used to um, not doing the bench press anymore because I'm doing this, and like in the past, I feel so goddamn good getting down to my chest, but no man am i tight like just getting just getting the bar to hit my chest like i'm so fucking bunged up in this area <laughs> fucking hell so this will be uh this will be interesting to say the least but we should be okay i'm quite excited just to hit a fucking big set <laughs> sometimes you just want to do a big set of bench don't you you know but yeah interesting interesting the thing is as well like if you're powerlifting you've got to hit your chest and you've got to pause if you're not powerlifting 
and you find not touching your chest suits you better or makes it like you're like less injury prone <clears throat> if you feel your chest more if you've got proof in yourself that when you stopped hitting your chest and stopped short you had more chest growth fuck it Who, who's to say otherwise you know and this is me as a coach who's coached people for powerlifting he's competing in powerlifting you know paused for fun you know i'm not i'm not fucking adverse to different styles working for different people so yeah let's keep getting warmed up and we'll see how we get on what you've got to remember as well is that um the bench press is a skill it really is and anyone who is great at bench pressing or strong or whatever they've nailed it from a technique standpoint you'll get guys bodybuilders out there who just have that sort of freaky strength but generally if you're not consistently bench pressing, it's going to feel like shit in your hands. Some exercises you can come back into, especially like machinery, where the plane of motion is ingrained for you. But a bench press is a skill, the skill of hitting that line, you know, where to bring it down, how to how to explode out of the hole. It's a whole technique in itself. And I've not done it for a while, and I feel like I have mastered the technique in the past, but <laughs> it doesn't feel the same anymore, which is okay, because the goals are different, but yeah. Let's keep warming up. Okay, fingers crossed this is uh, still a warm-up. 120, 270 pounds or something like that for you American boys. Yes, I do have people in the US following me. Mr. Worldwide. All four of you. <laughs> See how this feels. Might feel shit, might not. Ooh, yeah, I mean, it feels, uh, <laughs> the unrack felt uh, relatively heavy. Felt relatively heavy in my hands, but the press felt light as fuck. Just a bit of tightness in my right peck needs to fuck off. Right, let's get three plates on, see what happens. 140 kilos on the bar, 308 pounds. For the US boys. Should we have a competition? Guess how many I can do? Haha, <laughs> I've not done 140 for fucking months, man. I've not touched a barbell for months. I'm a machine bitch now. Fuck! Let's see what, no spot, 140. Man's got a death wish. But, fuck it, let's go. Come on, boys. Pump me up. Pray for me. Pray for me. Let's go, come on. That worried me a little bit, I'm not going to lie. Just that tight peck. I'm tempted, you know, just to leave bench there off one foot before I uh, injure myself. It's not what we want. Remember, live to lift another day. A few sets is not worth your health. Shit, 140 for 10. No, I'll be really honest with you. That's an all-time PB. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I said to one of my clients the other day, because we were talking, they were like, what do you reckon you could bench now? I thought, bro, I've not benched in six months, <laughs> if not longer. So I've no fucking clue. I was like, if I get that skill back, hitting them ones, prime myself, I know, I think I'd push for 200, which is, again, 440 pounds. But 140 for 10, which is two rep all-time PB, <laughs> After not pressing, <laughs> I don't think I'm chatting shit on the 200. Am I going to work towards it? Am I fuck? Am I fuck? So I guess we'll never know. Let's move on. So not bad. I reckon um, if I got back into strength specific training, I could bench 200 plus. There's no doubt. I, I, I'll be honest with you. I was on 
in my mind I was on for 200 back when I was powerlifting what was that three years ago um when I was at my strongest was well, now I'm my strongest clearly <laughs> um I'm, but I'm not going to do it anyway so what we're going to do is we're going to do dips I don't want a lot of variety today I want to smash loads of work I want to pump the fuck out of my chest pump fuck out of everything so I'm going to hit a lot of sets of not a lot so that was one set of bench now we're going to smash shit tons of sets of dips I thought I was going to do incline dumbbell but I think this would be more suited just with the way I'm feeling how tight I am I do love dips I'm not going to add weight I'm going to do body weight sets to failure you know blow the chest up let's see how we feel so yeah set one <coughs> shit i don't know if the mic is picking up that shake in the rig but it's quite off putting i'm like this but um yeah i need to keep playing it safe just i'm fucking boring you on this video probably but there's just a bit of tightness up here it's kind of putting me off i don't think i'm gonna get injured doing this or anything like that or i would stop but it's noticeable enough to not push to a certain point okay so just be aware of that when you're training. A lot of people, oh, I can't catch my breath. A lot of people, including myself, have pushed past the point of pain. Now that doesn't mean good pain, like pushing past failure, like joint tendon, <laughs> like popping pain. That should be taken note of, where you kind of go, right, I'm at a dangerous point there. I'm not at a point where I'm training hard. I'm at a point of stupidity. So we've all been there though. And I've learned my lessons from multiple injuries. So yeah, let's get into set two. <clears throat> <clears throat> Last working set for chest. It's like five working sets, six working sets total. I'm not a high volume trainer at all. I do what works. I don't go too far. Don't need the, the volume. Gonna figure out what works for you. Let's go. <clears throat> <clears throat> Chest done, side laterals, let's move on. So a lot of people overthink the train. And when it comes to developing your shoulders, like, do I think you should have an overhead press in? I mean, yeah, I do a, I do a lot of overhead pressing. I say a lot, I do it once a week generally. Unless I feel like I don't want it that week, I'll do more lateral base work, a bit like today. Um, today's more so because I... I don't want to do a dumbbell shoulder press. If I was in the gym, I would definitely be doing a machine plate loaded shoulder press. Um, but yeah, don't overthink it. Hit every head of the shoulder, if it, you know, if we're talking about shoulder training, but then put the emphasis into the head you want to develop most. Now I'm going to guarantee the head you need to develop more of is the side head, the lateral head no one has enough lateral head like you can always be wider you know like if you're doing a lot of pressing dumbbell pressing bench pressing chest press, machine press whatever it may be 
you're going to be hitting that front delt. Um, is it as direct as other front delt movement? No. Am I saying don't train your front delt? No. But what I'm saying is think about the emphasis for your physique and what you need to build. I guarantee lateral should be at the forefront of your program. So let's get into set one. We're just going to get moving with these. It's just going to get moving. just to warm up 20 reps to warm up i'm going to go four working sets of 15 to 20 reps and we'll get a decent amount of weight so i'm going to go 20s for these to start with don't think you need to go light on laterals guys like get some fucking weight in your hands don't be afraid to make sure that form is tight if you keep that that elbow position high in line you know all in line you're going to hit that lateral head as soon as you start opening up you're going to lose it don't lose it keep it in line You know what? Not always a fan of training on my own. I do like having a gym partner. Sometimes I do like getting the headphones on, getting my head down, and being in the zone, doing my own thing. And I thought coming to this session, I'd think, you know, it's hard to get motivated to train at home. Sometimes you want that space outside, but I'm enjoying this. I'm really enjoying it. It's fucking great. And I love training upper body, so. Let's get into set three. Fourth them out at the end. A little bit of a swing. Still feeling the delt work like a bitch, but the idea is that we match every set on that of 15 and don't drop off. So yeah, standing dumbbell, lateral, done. So body weight is currently at 103.4 kilos, which is 227 and a half pounds. The goal is still to get up to that 240, 250 mark. And I'm having some very, very minor weight gain at the moment. But solidifying this weight gain, at the end of the day, I'm up 27 pounds from, uh, from when I did the shoot. And yeah, fucking leaner with it as well. I feel 10 pounds leaner than when I first hit this weight. It's absolutely crazy. Just when responding to the protocol, to the food, to the training. Uh, so calories are at 3,700 at the moment. I've gained 0.4 pounds on average this week. My assumption is more food will go in. But we will see. A lot, a lot of food going in, man. So macros at 250 protein, 575 grams of carbs, 45 gram of fat. So yeah, we're moving, we're eating, trying to grow. Just stay lean with it, not get fat. So, right. We're going into seated dumbbell side lateral raise. We did standing, a bit more momentum with standing. We did sets of 15, heavier. So now we're seated, less momentum, less weight, higher rep. We're going to sets of 20. That's the idea. Think about it, guys. Think about your training. Don't wing it. Simple shit makes sense. Let's go. <sighs> Oh, 
grim. After four heavy sets of standing, that's fucking grim. So we're doing three sets of that. So two more sets that equals seven total direct sets for delt, actual working sets. Then we're going to move on to some back. Let's do it. Fuck. Not the prettiest reps. Swing short range at the end. But I don't give a fuck. I'm blowing these shoulders up. Ah, oh, shoulders done. So we'll move on to some back. So I think what we're gonna do. Oh for back is uh pull-ups. Now wish me luck with this. Oh my god, pull-ups. I don't think I've done pull-ups at this heavy ass fucking body weight ever. Never actually. Um, I was going to do a raw or a chest supported raw, which yes, does help the back. But like I said in the, uh, the leg day video the other day, my lower back at the moment is just swelling up, like struggling with it. Not to the point again, if like injury, just serious discomfort to the point if it'll just affect the exercise. I won't be able to lift as hard, go as heavy, so yeah, 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 okay. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna attempt some pull-ups, see we go. Oh, do you know what? I don't think I can train back. There's weird, weird feelings going on in my back. I need to be fucking careful. I think I'll have to see the physio or something. Like pain coming from the pec and then into the lat. Mm, we'll see. I might attempt another set. But... Okay, let's go again. Let's just have a have a little see. If this isn't right, I'm leaving it for that for back. Ah, the shit we do. If I have to cut the range short, I will. A bit better, a bit better, a bit less pain. I'm only getting eight reps. Fucking hell, I think my best is like 25 when I was lighter. Woohoo! So after this, after this session, we'll get a post workout meal in. And uh, it's quite common for people to want to immediately get carbs and protein down them. Listen, that's not wrong in the slightest. But don't think it has to be immediate because it really doesn't have to be immediate. What is actually more beneficial is to allow your heart rate to come down, let it settle, get your breathing back normal, get that body back to fucking a relaxed state. Your ability to digest food when you are not relaxed is really fucking poor. And what is the most beneficial thing for recovery, for nutrition partitioning? Being in a relaxed state and good digestion. So if you're not in a relaxed state and your body's not digesting that food properly, then you're not going to have the same benefit from that food. So don't rush your post-workout shake, your post-workout meal. You know, let it settle and then get it in. <coughs> nothing left <laughs> oh man faults are not my thing anymore all right back done let's hit some biceps okay just gonna start off with uh some dumbbell curls 
three working sets and that'll be biceps done. So I just do three working sets buys, three working sets triceps on, on this upper body day. Then they get more work on pull day for biceps where they'll get six working sets and then triceps will get six working sets on the other day. So literally it's only nine working sets in a week. Sometimes I chuck in like an extra arm day when I'm feeling it. I don't want to rest day, but yeah, but my arms are growing. I think they're at 17 inches currently. In the diet, they've gotten down to like 15 and a fucking quarter, uh, three quarters, man. So they put a, an inch and a quarter back on. Biggest they've ever been right now. And they're pretty lean. The cameras don't really show it because they're lighting, but fucking vascular as fuck. <sighs> Oh, to be honest with you, I'm not a fan of dumbbells for direct arm work, I prefer all machinery. I felt the connection's better, keep the angles better, joint angles better. You end up swinging like I've just done on, on the dumbbells. I mean, I still feel them like fuck, but I just get better growth off machines, man. So I don't care about reps, I don't care about fucking nothing other than getting a pump on these. I do not give two fucks. I don't care about form pretty much. So I'll pump them up. Go till I feel like I've got to stop. Where I feel like there's pain, or I'm just done. I'm not worried. Oh, yeah, I'm done. Oh, it's not perfect. But fuck me, it's honest work. Let's get some triceps in. Okay, three sets now triceps to finish the workout off. I'm gonna keep it simple, nothing crazy. I'm not saying you're limited with dumbbells when training triceps, but for me, I've got really poor shoulder and lat mobility, so doing anything overhead is impossible unless I've got a cable machine. So for me, it just it's really basic. It's either doing something like a tape press, or a skull crusher. I'm gonna shoot for a skull crusher today, so let's just uh let's just jump into it. That was 20 reps, it's too light. I'm gonna jump up to 20s and see what happens. Oh yeah, fucking hell, okay, workout done, thank fuck for that, right, let's, uh, let's see what pump we're dealing with, okay, right, workout done, so that was how to train upper body in a garage gym, in a home gym, in a gym with no access to certain bodybuilding kit, like, that's a great way of fucking doing it guys, 
great way of fucking doing it. So what we're going to do, physique check at 103.4 kilos. So we're looking, I do need, I do need a shave because I'm fucking minging. So I might, <laughs> might whip that off tonight, ready for my uh, check-in with Christian tomorrow. So yeah, let's, uh, let's see what we're dealing with here. Let's take that. Man's bald, don't forget. That's not why the hat's on though. Oh, fucking ripping my top here. Oh. Woo. Sweaty. Let's get the hat back on, just because that's where my microphone is. If you wonder what's sticking off my head. Oh. So, physique check. Try and get this. Looking decent. So this is where this is where I am. Try and get I want to kind of get front on with a camera. Bit of a bit of a tricky one really. To get the angle. The angle that I want. Should we try and get it up a bit? Let's have a look here. Let's go up if we can. Yeah, a bit higher. Let's do that. Okay. That's a bit better. So 103.4, I'd like to think we're still in pretty good nick. <sighs> yeah, like the goal is to keep the abs in check essentially, keep the gut in check. Naturally I have a decent waist as it is i don't carry too much fat there as i'm as i gain weight it tends to go on my back and my legs man but uh yeah this is where we are let's get the pauses in Yeah, I'm fucking shit at pausing. You always feel like cameras make you look smaller than you are as well. But, uh, yeah, so this is how we're looking. In fact, we're holding pretty good nick. Feel pretty big. Feel all right. Feeling strong as hell, as you can tell. Hitting that 140 for 10 bench, just fresh. So, yeah, the goal is now is nine weeks blasting through in this gaining phase, ready for Houston. And end of the day, I want to be as big as I possibly can be in Houston. I just want to be fit, and I'm breathing heavy now, but I've just trained. Not just because I'm an unfit bastard, I mean, I could be fitter. But we do still have cardio going in, in order to deal with that CV health, amongst all the other stuff. So, and obviously to try and keep training, and keep generally healthy. One thing you can't forget about when, when bulking is your health, heart health. If you're not doing cardio when you're bulking up, you're doing yourself a disservice because for one, the fitter you are, the better your sessions are going to be, the harder you're going to push, the better you're going to recover, the more food you can eat, the better your appetite is going to be because your appetite dies. Good luck gaining any muscle, man, because that's your gaining phase is done. You'll have to cut, drop some body fat, resensitize, stimulate appetite again and go from there. But, uh, as it stands, my appetite is high as fuck at 3,700 calories. We're keeping in relatively good nick, I think, as you can tell. You know, still, still lean. Lean as I can be at this point anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, that's the video. Tomorrow, we've got leg day. We're doing leg day with Robin and Paul. Early one in the morning, so I'm really looking forward to that. I'm going to push like fucking crazy tomorrow. I'm feeling it absolutely feeling it so that's what we're gonna do um yeah guys if you like the video i appreciate the support at the moment subscribe is going up please like the video subscribe if you're not and i'll see you for leg day tomorrow